A new spell for Town Hall 15 allows you to recall your troops or heroes and redeploy them elsewhere, alongside a new siege machine which will target defenses from underground. Welcome my friends, in Sneak Peek 1 we revealed Town Hall 15, then we showed you the new spell towers and monolith for defense before yesterday explaining the new pets. Today I will give you a full breakdown of the new siege machine the battle drill and the new spell the recall spell but there are more sneak peeks coming so be sure to subscribe in order to see those we do only have a small percentage of viewers subscribed to the channel so if you enjoy my content i would recommend doing so let's first talk about the battle drill how you unlock it how it works strategy for it and then we'll talk about the recall spell at town hall 15 you will be able to upgrade your workshop to level 7 19 million elixir with an 18 day upgrade time this gives you the battle drill at level one so let's go ahead and upgrade that once you've unlocked the battle drill you can obviously cook it up but this is only level one in the laboratory is where you upgrade it this will target defenses but it is a ground-based siege machine as you might have guessed every time you upgrade the siege you get slightly more damage per second and hit points and you will have seen the cost to upgrade and the required time at each level level four is the maximum level and if anyone has read the the description below it will stun defenses so let's show you that you will want to know this though although you unlock this siege machine at town hall 15 typically we can donate siege machines to a town hall 10 because of the siege machine capacity in the clan castle this siege machine has a special rule it requires a clan castle level 9 which is town hall 13 you're about to see it's a bit more op for those lower levels when you deploy the battle drill it will burrow underground bypassing walls to the nearest defense if it pops up next to walls, it instantly destroys them, stuns the defense, then gets to work attacking them. It will only lose health by taking damage from defenses. It does not have diminishing health like the log launcher does. Being defense targeting, it will burrow past the non-defensive buildings. Once it is fully taken down, your clan castle troops will emerge. Does the battle drill reset a single target inferno? Well, since it stuns the defense on first getting there, it will reset the single and you can use this to your advantage when doing a hero dive. If you are sending the Barbarian King into a compartment, whether it be to try and take out an Inferno Tower or the Scattershot, the Battle Drill could be an incredible support. Not to mention the troops that would pop out afterwards, but purely just to stun those defenses and help take them down. I think the Battle Drill can be compared to the Stone Slammer, just that one is ground, susceptible to ground defenses, other is air, susceptible to air defenses. They both target defenses. The Stone Slammer does open up more walls if it targets a defense next to the wall but i feel the main advantage is the stun effect of the battle drill you do not get that with the stone slammer and the other advantage is that you are not taking damage whilst traveling to a defense the scatter shot essentially cannot even fire at the battle drill because it pops up and instantly stuns it not to mention it's then in the dead zone for the scatter shot so whilst each of the seed machines i feel have very unique roles i am personally going to be using this battle drill a lot. In terms of strategy for the battle drill, you could use it in a lot of situations. I quite liked using an earthquake to activate the town hall, driving it in to try and snipe it off, but my favorite use case was very original, merging it in with your normal attack. I quite like the hybrid, and since I use the phoenix pet on the king, allowing me to have a greater funnel on the outside, I don't need to use the siege barracks, so I can use the drill, and this helps alongside Diggy of the royal champion champion to be stunning multiple defenses and helping the hybrid not to mention the power that the drill has in terms of taking down those defenses as well sometimes you can even get the drill to peel off onto multi-target infernos in the center of the base let's move on to the more exciting addition let's be honest about it the recall spell this is going to be epic my friends it's going to be so much fun and you can first unlock this at town hall 13 for just 9 million elixir and 9 days upgrade time. Kind of refreshing from seeing 21 days for some of the upgrades at Town Hall 15. Once you have upgraded your spell factory and obviously unlocked the spell, you can start upgrading it in your laboratory and this is at Town Hall 13. You will be able to upgrade it to level 2. Moving into Town Hall 14, this is when you can upgrade the spell to level 3 and for Town Hall 15, you can upgrade it to the maximum level, level 4. This will give you the 
maximum recall capacity of 90. They have put a little description, but I am going to show you exactly how this works, explain all of the finer details for you, and give you some strategy at the end. I will explain the recall values, but let's show you how it works first. If you like the look of sniping that expo with the Royal Champion, but you don't like the look of the monolith defense, you can recall her. So after the expo goes down, you deploy the spell on the Royal Champion, scoop her out of there, and whatever you recall moves back to the troop bar. You can see what you have recalled, and then deploy it elsewhere. Now you can't deploy it anywhere on the map as you can with other spells, it is only where you can deploy your troops. So this is a little bit like back when we didn't have siege machines with your clan castle troops. 90 is the maximum capacity, so it will calculate and recall as many as it can up to that 90, but it will recall the highest capacity troops. In this case, a Pekka is left behind because we hit 86 troop capacity. Just like before, we can then redeploy these elsewhere on the map. In the calculation, heroes are worth 25 and pets are worth 20, which works out nicely because you can then recall two heroes and to pets. Now, when it comes to troops of the exact same housing space, it all depends on the ones that you deploy first. So in this scenario, all the troops are worth 30 housing space, but it actually scooped up two of the E-Dragons since they were deployed first. Remember, when it comes to siege machines, they are immune to spells, so you will be unable to recall a siege machine. However, the clan castle troops from within inside the siege machine could be recalled. And you will notice that when you recall spells, it moves to the end of the troop bar. So you might have to do a little bit of scrolling. Really cool this, but skeleton spells, they can be recalled. It will just show as an icon where you can then redeploy them. Obviously, exactly the same is the case for the bat spells. On that token, you might have guessed, but yes, lava pups, the big boy, as well as yeti mites can all be captured with the recall spell. Even though it will prioritize the troops you deploy, deployed first in terms of if they are the same housing space, once you do recall a bunch of troops, you could clearly see the P.E.K.K.A. was in front of the Golem. It will respawn the troops in the same spot with the highest housing space troops coming out of the spell first. Important to note, if you are taking multiple recall spells, when you use one of them, the other recall spells are still active. This is so that you could quickly recall multiple groups of 90 troops, but if you are wanting to deploy your already recalled troops, just make sure that you switch across and do not accidentally drop a recall spell in the middle of nowhere. Maybe you've took note of this as I've been explaining it, but the recall spell only lasts for a second, so once it's gone, it's not recalling those troops. It's designed so that you can quickly get rid of those troops before they go into danger. For fun, how quick would those wizards take down the scatter shot? Let's go. <laughs> oh, beautiful. A couple of finer mechanics before we get into strategy recommendations. If you use the hero ability, recall the hero, any of the spawned troops as well, the hero ability is actually ticking down whilst it is in your troop deployment bar. So if you wait too long before you then redeploy, the hero ability is gone. Now, just to demonstrate that point with the archer queen, use the ability, recall the queen, and then instantly redeploy her, the ability is still there. So do take note note that you will lose the ability if you wait too long. Exactly the same for the sneaky goblins. If you recall them, you can deploy them with their invisibility still intact. However, if you recall them and you wait too long, casually waiting... then the ability will have already worn off. Not sure why you would want to recall sneaky goblins, but you never know. So essentially, effects expire whilst they are in the troop bar. It's not all bad though. If you recall a troop that is poisoned, the poison will still be affecting them. In this case, the Archer Queen. But what you could do is actually just wait and let the poison expire whilst you have the troops in the troop bar. Now, when I redeploy the Queen, poison has expired. I'm not sure how useful that will be. Honestly, I'm not sure if it should even be the 
the other way around, so you do keep the hero abilities. But just so you know, that's a thing. There are a couple of exceptions to that, though. The first one being the Phoenix pet that I introduced you to yesterday. Once it turns your hero immune, if you recall the hero, the timer does not expire. So you can wait as long as you want, but it does not reset the timer. So if you used four seconds of your immunity and then redeploy the hero, you then only have four seconds before the hero goes down. But that's a nice exception to the rule. The other exception is the clone spell. You can recall the cloned troops and they will not expire whilst they are in your troop bar. When you redeploy the troops, the cloned troops will continue with the same time left. I did find something interesting in that if you clone the same troops or the same housing space because of that rule where it picks up the ones that were deployed first, it will still pick up the cloned troops and it would be better if it prioritized the regular troops. Maybe they can tweak this. I know they will be carefully looking at our feedback following this update. I tried this so many times because I thought it would be funny, but you cannot recall the Royal Champion Seeking Shield. In terms of the best use case then, I will say I think this is incredibly fun. That's why I will be using the spell. But for strategy, it's very situational. Trying to take advantage of a flaw in the base design, which means when we do see it in a World Championship attack, I am sure our minds will be blown. But this was the best use case I found. A mini Queen Walk or Warden Walk, but only with three healers, because with the hero, the pet, and then the healers, three is the most you can recall. There is one exception to that, and it is if you take the Phoenix pet on the queen, because whilst the Phoenix is an egg before it hatches, it does not count to the recall spell capacity. So you can actually recall four healers in that scenario. But as a general rule of thumb, just count on taking three. So you do have to be careful that you're not charging into an area with too much damage. But in this case, I am able to snipe the town hall, quickly recall my queen and healers out of there, and then redeploy her at the opposite side of the base, because typically people spread out their major defenses, and then you can add in extra healers if you wish. This means not only are you taking out major defenses, you might also be able to create pretty awesome pathing for the rest of your attack. Obviously, I will be super intrigued as to how you plan to use the spell, and we have our sneak peek for tomorrow's sneak peek. Oh, you noticed the design change on the barracks? Then here goes the clickbaitiest title ever. What we reveal tomorrow will shock you. Oh, Darian, I guess you will find out tomorrow. If you want to see my video explaining all four of the new pets, I have it linked on your screen. You all enjoy the rest of your day.